Hey, audio designers and Unity devs. Today, we'll be going over how you integrate FMOD with Unity. All right, so getting started, we'll first need to make sure that we have both one of the latest versions of Unity installed. It doesn't really matter which one at this point. They all run off of the package manager now in terms of how they integrate FMOD. So pretty much any of them should work. And then we'll go about getting a version of FMOD Studio that's compatible with Unity. So there are two ways of getting the FMOD integration package. You can, as I'm about to show you, get it straight from FMOD's website, or you can get it out of the Unity Asset Store, if that's your preferred method. So starting out, we'll be going to fmod.com and creating a profile if they don't have one already and signing in if we do. Um, we'll then be going over to their downloads page. And from here, if we don't have Studio already, we can pop open the Studio Suite and check this Unity Verified button, and it'll only display the versions of FMOD Studio that have been verified to work with Unity already. So for that, we'll first grab this one, and then you can select your operating system and download it and install it. Once you have that, you can go down to the Unity Integration Package here. You can, again, select Unity Verified, and grab the one that matches the version of FMOD Studio you grabbed. So if you got the 2.01 version, which is the latest one that I'm currently working off of, you'll grab this package. If you have an older one, you can get one of the se one of several 2.0 versions, or even as far back as 1.08. For the other method of getting the FMOD integration package, we can go into our Unity project, jump up to Window, and open the Asset Store. And in the Asset Store, you can click Search Online to pop open your browser window. And that'll bring you straight to the Unity Asset Store. You can also just go straight to the Asset Store on online. And let's search FMOD. And we'll scroll down to this FMOD for Unity package here. We'll click on that. And just like we would for the FMOD package on FMOD's website, we will select Add to My Assets. Once you've added the FMOD Studio package to your assets, it'll give you this Open in Unity button instead. If we select this, it'll then pop us into Unity and open up the Package Manager. Once we're in the Package Manager, you can go click on this Packages button up here. It says In Project and select My Assets. It'll ask you to sign in, just like the uh, Unity website may have done. And once you've signed in, it'll show you a list of all the Unity assets that you currently have added to your profile. In here, you'll see FMOD for Unity. We'll select this one, and we can hit download here. Now, I'm not going to click this because I'm going to show you the manual way. I personally prefer the other method of installing it. It's just what I've used for longer and seems a little faster and more convenient for me. Um, the Unity store kind of tends to give me about four different places where I have to sign in repeatedly, and that bothers me. FMOD, I still have to do it once, but like, it's only once, and I, I prefer it. So backing out now again to my Unity project, I'm going to grab the FMOD Studio package and drag it into my scene. I could have also gone up into Assets and clicked on the Import Custom Package. So now with this Import panel open, I can just scan through and see all the files that the FMOD integration package includes. And once I'm content that they're all selected, I can double check by selecting all or none and click import. And now, as you can see, um, I have all these additional folders under my assets folder in my project tab. As a note, you probably shouldn't move any of these. They tend to break F the FMOD integration when you do. Um, I know that's pretty annoying for some engineers, but it's just kind of a side effect of using FMOD. You'll also notice that we now have an error down here. So what this error is pointing to is the fact that we have not yet pointed FMOD Studio within Unity to any particular project path to build its audio from. So to start out, we're going to right click on Assets and click Create Folder. I'm going to call this folder FMOD Banks. And now I'm going to jump back over into FMOD Studio. I've put together a test event. If I hit play, it's just some thunder. I'm going to make sure that I assign 
this event to a bank. Doesn't really matter which. I'm also going to make sure I save. And then I'm going to go into Edit, Preferences, Build Path, and then Browse. And I'm going to browse for the FMOD Banks folder in the Unity project. So now that I've found the path to the folder right here, I can close out of this tab. I can save. And then I can either go to File and say Build or Build All Platforms, or I can just hit Control F7 or F7 for only building on the current platform. And this will compile all of the audio that I currently have into the master bank, all of the audio events. Hopping back over into Unity, you'll now see that if I select the FMOD banks, there's this desktop subfolder. If I open that, it'll have the subfolder for the, the bank itself and a string identifier for it. But if I play the scene, we don't currently hear anything. So to solve that, coming back to this error at the bottom, the FMOD Studio project path must be set. To set that path, we open the FMOD tab, we hit Edit Settings, and you can either select the project path for, the, for FMOD itself, or what I prefer to do for version control purposes. So if I select the project, then I have to keep the project, the FMOD project with the uh, Unity project, and it can quickly bloat your version control. Um, so what I prefer to do is select either single platform build or multi-platform build. For simplicity, I'll do single for now. And then browse to this desktop folder. As you can see, if I go to the console and hit clear, there are no more errors. The previous errors did linger for a bit, that's just a Unity feature, so you can see old errors. But if I hit play, we still don't hear any audio. Now at this point, FMOD is properly integrated with Unity. So to make sure it's working, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the scene with that test event that we created. So the first thing that I always do, just, just to make sure I don't forget, is I add an FMOD listener somewhere in my scene. So by default, all of your attenuation and your distance parameters will be based on the position of whatever the object you attached the uh, FMOD Studio listener to, whatever that object's parameters are. But if you want to separate the attenuation from the object itself, you can drag a different object into this attenuation field here. So next, we're going to create a new object. We're going to call it Audio Manager, and we're going to add an FMOD Bank Loader component to it. We're going to say load on start and unload on destroy. And we will add current master bank, or only bank, to the studio loader. Finally, we're going to add a sound emitter itself to this object. It, for testing purposes, it can really be on any object for now, as long as that object's close enough to the camera to hear. The camera, because we put the listener on the camera. But we'll put it at the origin for now on this audio manager. To do that, we'll grab a studio event emitter component and we'll click this magnifying glass just like we did for the, the search for the banks, drop down to events and select our test event. We'll say play on object start and stop on object destroy. Now, when you hit play, you'll hear the thunder from the test event. You'll also see this FMOD Studio debugger here. And this is great for your own debugging purposes, but if you'd like to remove it for your team, go back to the edit settings, go down to under play and editor settings, the debug overlay, and hit disable. Now when we hit play, the audio still plays, but we no longer have that overlay. This over other overlay is just from the stats tab. As part of a final note, make sure you save when you make those changes. And if you're pushing to version, version control, let's go ahead and add these lines. If you're using Git, of course, if you're using Perforce or something else, this process is way different. But if you're using Git, let's go ahead and add these lines to the Git ignore. Basically, 
These ignore some of the log files that fmod auto generates, as well as the cache files that it rebuilds if they're missing. And with that, we have both fmod and Unity integrated. It's a pretty quick process if you're used to it and you've done it a couple times. It can be a little annoying your first time because there are a lot of tiny details, but once you've got it up and running, it's uh, super quick to iterate with and much, it's a much faster workflow than trying to use stock Unity through your whole project. Thank you all for watching. I hope I've cleared up any random questions you've had about how to integrate FMOD and Unity. And even if you already knew that, I hope you learned at least one little thing that was new here. Um, if you have any additional questions, I'd love to hear them. Feel free to leave them in the comments or shoot me a message on social media and I'll try and get back to you about that if I can, or just go ahead and make a video on it if it's something that seems super valuable. So yeah, hope you're all having a wonderful week and thanks and see you next time.